Hello everyone, I'm Claire Heffron joining you from London. Welcome to GBRI's short video on well exam prep, what you need to know. GBRI, as many of you may already know, is an American Institute of Architects, education provider, and a US GBC, education partner. Other than being an education provider, we aren't affiliated with the WELL rating system, nor GBCI, that administers the WELL and LEAD exam. We don't benefit monetarily from any exam registration or certification fees. OK, for those of you who are just getting started with WELL, the WELL Building Standard is the first building standard to focus exclusively on the health and wellness of the people in buildings. It takes a holistic approach to health in the built environment, addressing behaviour, operations and design. The WELL Building Standard, just like LEED, is a performance-based system for measuring, certifying and monitoring features of the built environment that impact human health and well-being through seven concepts, namely air, water, nourishment, light, fitness, comfort and mind. Just like LEED, well-certified building spaces and well-compliant core and shell developments can help create a built environment that improves the nutrition, fitness, mood and sleep patterns. If you think about it, each feature of the WELL building standard is ascribed to the human body systems that are intended to benefit from its implementation. This enables project teams to classify the intended benefits of each WELL feature and develop a comprehensive set of strategies. While there are different ways to group the body's various systems, the WELL building standard considers each feature's impact on these categories of body systems. All right then, let me take the privilege in walking you through the essentials of the WELL AP exam. Listed here are the topics we will cover. So who is a WELL AP, by the way? The WELL Accredited Professional, or WELL AP, credential signifies knowledge in human health and wellness in the built environment and specialisation in the WELL building standard. A WELL AP possesses the knowledge and skills necessary to support the WELL certification process. It's a credential similar to a LEAD AP in that it demonstrates a professional's mastery of the WELL rating system and ability to utilise it on project sites and contribute a deep understanding of the rating system's intentions and implementation strategies. To become a WELL AP, all candidates must pass the WELL AP exam, which I will talk about in detail. Wondering about the requirements on who can become a WELL AP. There are no other prerequisites to sit for the WELL AP exam. The only requirement to register to take the exam is being 18 years or older. It's recommended you have experience with WELL projects. However, it's not a requirement. Just like LEAD, the exam is developed using GBCI's rigorous test development best practices. It's designed to test a candidate's competency to perform the duties of a WELL AP. Is this right for me? Hmm, let's see. Do you consider yourself as a leader in your industry? Are you committed to placing health and wellness at the centre of building design and performance? Then the WELL AP credential may be right for you. Let's look into how to register for the exam. First step is to create an account with Well Online. Here's a screenshot of the Well Online website, wellonline.wellcertified.com. You don't have to memorize the URL. We have included URLs of all important links and resources in the handouts, or you can look at the comment section for updated links. After you sign up for an account which is free, you will get a welcome email. I've included here a screenshot of the email Jesslyn received when he registered. So now you know who is planning to take the exam. Once you have an account with Well Online, next is to register for the Well exam. How much does it cost to take the Well exam? There is a fee for the exam. Based on your location, the exam fees varies. Currently, for the United States, the fee is $660. You should also be aware the exam fee is discounted for USGBC members, LEAD APs and LEAD Green Associates. 
On the screen, I have included the current rates and discounted rates for USGBC members and lead professionals below it. I shall also share the URL so that you can look up the fees for your country. As I mentioned in the beginning, GBRI, who has made this course, is not affiliated with Well Rating System. We are a sustainability education provider. We do not benefit monetarily from any exam registration fees. After you register for the exam, you'll get a confirmation email from Well Online with a link to schedule your exam with Prometric. I have included the screenshot of the email Jesslyn received when he registered for the exam. With the link, you'll be able to schedule your test session at a Prometrics testing centre near you. Exam sessions are available year-round through Prometric test centres worldwide. If you'd like to locate your nearest testing centre and view availability, please visit prometric.com forward slash GBCI and click on Locate. Also note that your exam application will expire in one year from the date of exam registration, beyond which you'll not be able to schedule your exam. One may contact GBCI to request one six-month extension of this one-year period. Once you schedule the exam, you can confirm, cancel or reschedule an exam on the ProMetric website. About the exam. The exam is similar to what we see with the Lead Green Associate, AP and other credentials. It's a computer-based exam, so you'll take it at a ProMetric centre. The exam assesses candidates' abilities at three cognitive levels, recall, application and analysis. 1. Recall items. These items assess a candidate's ability to recall factual material that's presented in a similar context to the exam references. 2. Application items. These items provide the candidate with a novel problem or scenario that the candidate can solve using familiar principles or procedures described in the exam references. 3. Analysis items. These items assess a candidate's ability to break the problem down into its component. 3. Analysis items. These items assess a candidate's ability to break the problem down into its components to create a solution. The candidate must not only recognise the different elements of the problem, but must also evaluate the relationship or interactions of these elements. It's a time test and you're allocated two hours for the exam. Be prepared to commit two hours, 20 minutes for the exam. Total exam time is broken out as follows. An optional 10-minute tutorial, the two-hour exam and an optional 10-minute exit survey. There are 100 questions and we'll take a closer look at this portion in just a moment. As I mentioned earlier, the exam is computer-based. The primary language for the exam is English. Exam question and answer options are displayed on screen. The computer records your responses and times your exam. You are able to change your answers, skip questions and flag questions for later review. The exam has both scored and unscored items. Note that all items are delivered randomly throughout the exam and candidates are not informed of an item status. So candidates should respond to all the items on the exam. Candidates will receive the results at the test centre immediately following the test. The Well AP exam is scored between 125 and 200. You have to earn 170 or higher to pass and earn your Well AP. Your exam score will be displayed on screen at the end of the exam and you will receive a printed report of your results from test centre staff. As soon as you have passed the Well AP exam, you can use the title Well AP and or the logo. Just like the lead credential and most other credentials out there, you're required to earn continuing education to maintain your accreditation. Well APs have two year reporting periods, just like lead APs. In this two years, 30 total hours have to be completed. Six of those 30 hours have to be well specific. A well specific course would have an explicit connection to the well rating system. Whether it's discussing the concepts, implementation strategies, etc., it would include the relevant health research to accommodate the discussion of the well concepts or features as well. 
All right now that you know what happens before and after the exam, let's see what you are testing on. The Well Building Standard and the Introduction to the Well Building Standard are both helpful resources. The exam is based on the expertise of leading practitioners in the field of design, health and wellness in the built environment. So diving a little deeper into what the exam covers, here's a breakdown of the questions by concept. Remember the seven concepts Well Standard is based on. You can see beyond the seven main concepts, there's also a section on Well Certification Process and synergies. There are also 15 pre-test questions that round us off to 100 questions. These questions test candidates' abilities to recall factual information learned from the Well Standard Guide. They test candidates' abilities to identify a solution for a scenario or problem given in a question and also test the candidate's ability to analyse the relationship or interaction between multiple elements of the rating system. Before I conclude, what study resources are available for Well AP exam? How do I study? Where to start? Etc. Etc. Exposure to concepts around health and wellness in the built environment through educational courses, volunteering or work experience prior to testing definitely helps. You may check gbrionline.org forward slash well for free exam prep resources. You can also check out our exam resources loaded on the USGBC platform. Just like the LEAD exam, the exam is multiple choice. You'll be required to pick one correct answer from a group of multiple answer choices. For some questions, you'll be required to pick multiple correct answers. Not to worry, the question will specify how many correct answers to pick. As far as study resources, you may download the Well Building Standard, which is free to download now from the Well Online website. However, reading and memorising the entire standard isn't required and not recommended, especially if you can't afford to lose your time. Many of the test takers have limited amount of time since all of us are busy with a full-time job, school and life in general. Plus, each of us are different the way we learn and grasp information. At GBRI, we have developed a multitude of exam prep options and based on your needs and circumstances, you can pick one or more. Remember, the key is knowing what to learn to pass the exam and not the whole thing. I've listed some of our resources here. Please visit our Well Exam prep page for more details, free resources and webinars, etc. Thank you again. That concludes my session. I'll have another short session on some Well AP exam tips. Stay tuned. Don't forget to rate this course. You can rate the course along with leaving comments. If you've any questions, please email us at the address you see on the screen or leave us a comment.